The thing about drawing is that drawing can be a kind of thinking, turning thinking into material in front of you. Particularly with charcoal, which one can adjust very quickly, it's as if you can change it as quickly as you can change your mind. And what it does is it makes provisionality, impermanence, uncertainty, the center of working rather than a bad side effect. And you could see them as a kind of Robert Motherwell collection of dark marks on a white ground. But as soon as you start to shift them and move them into different positions, images start emerging. So that when you see a horse, it's not simply a generosity on your part to say, or our part to say, I know these are just torn pieces of black paper, but I will allow myself to believe that I'm seeing a horse. It's also about the inability to stop yourself from doing that. So it's not that you see a horse, you know you're seeing three things. You're seeing black torn sheets of paper, you're seeing a horse, and you're stepping behind yourself and aware of yourself as the pleasure that one takes in self-deception of knowing that it's both a series of torn pieces of paper, but it could also be a horse. And if I was to say to someone, well, can you draw a horse rearing up on its hind legs? Well, if you're not Delacroix, this is very difficult. But if you start simply to get a child to do this, to rearrange those different sheets of paper, shift them into different positions, different elements and different attitudes of this horse start to emerge.